Hello, three loves. Welcome back to the three loves family. And um, this is me here showing my face again to let you know that this channel is not faceless at all. So to the returning subscriber, thank you very much for keeping up with us. And if you're a new subscriber, you are new here. Okay, this is I'm Uche Beyonce from Nigeria. And uh, I also like to know you. So please go to the comment section and introduce yourself to the family. This is beginner's class actually. And the last time on beginner's class, we treated the that manipulation but taking it a step further will be princess that princess that i already taught us what that does it helps to shape our dress to fit into our rounded body shape you know we are women we have we are round in nature we are not flat we have bust so that helps you princess that helps you to shape your dress to fit into all these curves okay this princess that was actually introduced by Charles Frederick Worth, that was in the 1870s. Uh, he named it after Princess Alexander of Denmark then. Princess that are of two categories. One is the one spanning from your arm side or your armhole down to your breast and down to the hem of the dress. And the second one is the one from your shoulder line to your breast and down to the hem of the dress. So with this, I hope that in the tutorial proper, you will get to understand better. So please follow me. Let's go to the table and do the drafting. A hard speed to the city street. So already as the rule, you come down here, starting point line, shoulder, that's a shoulder line by half an inch. So from here, shoulder to bust is 9.5. You mark it. I already marked it here. Then shoulder to waist is 15 and a half. And I've also marked it here. So I've labeled it. And I'm taking this place to be my center fold. And from here, you mark your shoulder to shoulder divided by two. Shoulder to shoulder is 15 inches divided by two is 7.5. So mark it here. Then the neck width I'm working with is three inches. I mark it here. So the neck depth for the front, I'm still also using the basic, which is three inches. For our armhole call, I'm still marking the 7.5 I marked here, down somewhere here just to get a straight line. So I just find anyway, max 7.5. The armhole circumference of my client is 16.5 divided by two is 8.25. So on this place, I'm going to mark down 8.25, connect that a straight line. And I also draw a line across it and that will be called my chest line. From the shoulder line, I'm coming down by one inch because our shoulder is not straight. So this will form our shoulder slant and I'll connect it to the neckline. After that, I'll find the midpoint between here and here. And from the midpoint, I go inwards by half an inch. The reason is because our front armhole, we have our boss, so it's curved. So to complete the curve, we need to find our horizontal measurement. And our horizontal measurement, remember, we are dividing it with four because our front is on fold, back is on fold. So making it into four places. So the boss is 35 divided by four, it 8.75. And I'll mark it here. I'll mark the same thing on the chest, then I can complete the curve. If I mark the, uh, the waist one, let's impute the dart first. So the nipple to nipple is 7 inches divided by 2 is 3.5. So you mark 3.5 on your waist and on your bust also you mark 3.5. And then we connect it into a straight line. Then from the uh, bust line, we come down by one inch because we don't want to have a pointy dart. So we come down by one inch. Then our basic dart, dart intake is half inch on both sides of this. So taking half inch on each side, mark half inch here, mark half inch here. Then I'll connect these two lines together. So I've done that. And uh, the waist circumference is 29 inches divided by four is 7.25, which is here. So this is our basic dart. Now introducing the princess dart and the one we are making use of today is the armhole princess dart. So what we are going to do here is we take the measurement of this round. I'm teaching you basic first. Measure it and find the midpoint. So what I have here is about eight inches and half of it is four inches. So I measure again and find four inches, this point. So from this four inches that I've marked, to take in that, the, the armhole that, I'm also going to use the half inch sideways. So you go up on it by half an inch and you also come down on it by half an inch. 
And then from this bust again, you know, to, to avoid sharp points, I'm still going up again by half one inch. So I have it here, or you can use less than one inch, but I just want to make it equivalent with this. And then I'm going to place my cuff just the way we formed this dart. This is the midpoint of the dart here. I'm going to cuff it. Let me use my pencil first. Then I'll also connect these ones again. These are the dart legs. This is the apex. Just like this is these are the dart legs. This is the apex. I'll connect this one too. So if my curve seems good to me, I can go ahead and now use my marker. Can you see now? I've highlighted it. Then I'm going to just make it straight. Moving on to our this, our dart replacement, because if we do not replace this dart, our waist measurement will be shorter by one inch on each side. So we have a dart of one inch here. And remember, we already marked our waist measurement divided by four. So I'm going to replace this because or for the normal basic that we are uh, sewing it inwards. So I replace here with the one inch. Then for the armhole side, let me show you something. Now, let me fold this. Note this line. And note this line. This. Let's assume we sew this now. Do you see where this one stopped? Because we must have cut out fabrics, you know, trimmed it uh, uh, to what we want. Do you see where this one stopped? So we need allowance. We need to replace that dart also such that, okay, this one stopped here. But we need up to this point. And that is this dart we took out. So the same one inch. So whatever you, you took out here, the total of here is one inch. You're going to extend your line, extend the line you have on this down part by one inch. So let me measure. Okay, my one inch is here. So I need to extend it up to that point. So that after we cut out, we won't be uh, short of fabric up to this point. The next thing is, it's a little thing we took out here. In our as yes, it looks insignificant, but yes, there is a little dart we are cutting out here. And it is 0 0.25 only, just 0 0.25. So we are going to add it back, just 0 0.25. So now we are going to reshape this, connect this with a curve to this point. And this becomes our armhole curve, our armhole curve. And then we connect this part too. I mark this because we are cutting it out. So you go ahead and add your allowance. On the side, I'm just adding 1.5 here. 1.5, 1.5. And our armhole, half an inch. So go ahead and do yours. Half an inch here, half an inch here, half an inch on the shoulder, half an inch on the neckline. After this, I'll cut it out. So watch closely how I'm cutting this. We rise like tall buildings As the chemicals, they take us higher The night's young And it's just begun As she puts her hand in mine We want to chase the night so this is our princess dart and a, a label here, the center fold, and this is the side. So when you place this on your fabric, you have to give an allowance here, half inch allowance, half inch allowance that you will use to join both of them together. That is the drill. Then for the back, I'll just draw out the same thing exactly and I will show us the difference. Okay, now this is the back and the only difference is that for our neck depth for the back, we actually used just one inch, one inch neck depth. And uh, the armhole, we marked our bust circumference divided by four and we just, you know, created a curve straight away instead of coming inwards by half an inch. And uh, for the dart, I've already replaced the one inch dart here. So now the next thing is, Okay, and another thing is of the bust line, I actually extended it to the bust, unlike the front where I had to come down by one inch. 
So that is it. Then for here, the next thing is, just as we measure the front, you measure the back up to this point. Whatever you have, you find the midpoint. So here I have my midpoint. Now I'm going to connect this up to my bust point. The mark is just on the midpoint alone. I've also connected those parts and we are giving our allowance, our allowance of 1.5. So this is our side allowance. And you also go ahead and give your half inch sewing allowance here. But, you know, for the front one, because we went, we gave uh, the dart half inch here, half inch here. We had to go down, we had, you had to go up on the down part by the same one inch. This one, we are actually not supposed to go up. But to avoid sh any form of shortage you get, we are going to just go up here by half an inch. Only just to avoid any shortage while joining us. Then we connect this to our armhole with our curve. We actually connected it to the true one. So you can then go ahead and give your allowance. And this is it. But if this allowance will confuse you, you may decide to give it while cutting it on your fabric so that you'll be clear of what you are doing. Now we are going to cut this out. I'll trim the side first. So you can see I've labeled it the center back, the side back. So this side will be on fold. And with this, we've come to the end of this class. In my next tutorial, that will be a general one. I will be making a dress, a princess dart dress, you know, without drafting it on a pattern paper. So you, that one is just a little bit different. So if you want to watch that you click on your notification bell so that whenever i post a video you will you will get to you know watch it i believe this tutorial was helpful to you so please go ahead and subscribe to the channel like and share thank you very much and god bless you i love you god loves you more. bye